Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to import an After Effects composition into Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got various files. I've got some project files that we're going to be using. I've also got uh, this overlay file. So this is an After Effects file. So if we open up After Effects we can see that I've been working on this little animation for my YouTube channel. So when I click the play button you see it's just this little subscribe animation and I want to use this within Adobe Premiere Pro so there's kind of a couple of options you can see it's got a green screen background or a green background so if I were to import this into Magic's Movie Edit Pro I could use the chroma key in Magic's Movie Edit Pro to remove the green right you could also do that in Premiere but it's easy to just take this composition the subscribe callout composition and import that into Adobe Premiere Pro and use it directly in there you don't have to do any sort of chroma king or anything like that Let's minimize this and let's go ahead and open up the Premiere Pro. Okay, so in Premiere Pro, I've just set up a basic project. I've got my little logo at the beginning like you see on my YouTube channel. I've got this subscribe animation. I'm going to show you how to create this in a separate tutorial in After Effects. And then I've got the video clip and I've muted everything in here so we don't need to hear any audio. And the idea is to get this animation working from After Effects directly in Premiere Pro. So all we'll do is go to this folder on my desktop. I've got that overlay file here. I'm going to just drag that and drop it into the media pool down here. So this little option is going to pop up. Now, if you remember in After Effects, the actual composition is called subscribe callout here. All right. So if we minimize this, we look for subscribe callout and then click OK. And now we have that After Effects composition inside of Premiere Pro. And we didn't have to export it or do anything. Now we can just drag and drop that onto the timeline. So then we drag and drop it around this position. If we move back on the timeline and click play, we see that little animation sequence. And we don't have to alpha channel or do anything. It's pretty much job done, right? So you can just drag and drop that file or that, that composition anywhere along the timeline. So you may normally I wouldn't drop drag and drop them this close, but throughout your video clip especially if it's a long video clip you may want to put some sort of call to action to try and entice people to subscribe all right it would be nice so let's just watch that one more time let's watch it from the beginning we'll click play so we normally have my logo at the beginning if you're watching my channel then i've added created this new effect actually this i've done quite recently and now we've got the video i'll start talking and then later normally i'll put some sort of subscribe animation so this is quite new you might see this in some of my more um, new tutorials when they come out fairly soon. Okay, so that's how you go about taking a After Effects project composition and importing that directly into Adobe Premiere. And you can use that on the timeline. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP Word tutorial.